today we have the RISD students coming in for their final crit. It's a presentation that we, each student will present a number of games that they've created throughout the semester. At Hasbro, we reimagine our brands on a regular basis, and the RISD students and faculty bring such a fresh perspective to that, to our brands, and to the creative process in general. First, I want to welcome everyone to the RISD Cranium course, Final Crit. We have 16 presentations, and what the students are going to do today is present the um, main game for the second half of their course. Welcome, everybody. I'm glad everybody's here. I couldn't wait for the day to arrive that we see the final presentations. But I want everybody to kind of relax and have fun. This game that I've created is called Dogpile. It's an ever-changing stacking game with little dog pieces that's intended for two or more players ages eight and up. You had eight plus as your target, but uh, this is a game that actually plays very well at a younger age. Mm -hmm. yeah. And th sometimes that's a struggle to develop a game that plays well at a younger age. Yeah. So I think, you know, bringing the age target down is, it would actually be a tar uh, positive thing for this game. It was interesting seeing how much goes into actually making a game, and the assumptions you make before making a game are so different than what it actually turns out to be. I learned a lot more about having to research and having to test my theories or my concepts. There are situations that you can uh, s create an empathy with your user. If you are from a similar age group, from a similar uh, background, you can really understand the, your user profile. But if you're working with children, that's totally unpredictable. So you really cannot put yourself into their shoes. Um, and in our, pro in our project, we were really dealing with children. So we had to make lots of research. The way that the students uh, responded to the challenge of the studio was uh, in a very dynamic and very creative way. They dived into the challenge and uh, came up with a very rich variety of games. And uh, first, um, a lot of them focused on the board games, and then they started exploring the other territories, different types of materials, like water, textile, paper, uh, different types of interaction and age groups, um, games for two people, games for huge groups of people, and uh, different paces of, uh, of gaming as well. When Cranium started the project with us, they said, you know, we want to see games done in the spirit of Cranium. By the mid-semester um, critique, when the uh, Cranium folks saw what the students had come up with, they almost they kind of relaxed that and said, you know what, some of you guys are going in directions that we would have never thought of. We went up to the Wheeler School for a day, and the students spent um, a whole afternoon, kids from age five all the way up to high school kids. So they were able to really see different users interact. And very surprisingly, games that were designed for young people ended up being fun for older people and vice versa. Exploring the concept of play at RISD is important for, for us as artists. And essentially, every artist is playing when they're making their work. The idea of maybe moving over slightly to gameplay isn't really a big leap at all. They're very, very related concepts. The main concept for the game was that I really wanted to make a water game, uh, sort of breaking away from the traditional board game, uh, because once you said that at midterms, I was really excited to try something new. And um, basically, the goal of the game is to be the player that does not fall in the water. The water play actually adds an interesting element. It could clearly be played in swimming pools or mm -hmm. uh, outside uh, in the summer period. It's an interesting idea because of that. It's a tremendous opportunity for a company that is always looking for fresh, new ideas, and a school that's always looking to expand its students' exposure and its students' opportunities. Students need to see how what they're working on can be applied in the real world. I mean, they're going to graduate someday, and they, they want to know that what they're getting from their school experience has application, like real application. Um, and it's good for them to know that in school, when they have a chance to learn from the experience, adjust their approach, adjust their methodology before they graduate, then graduate, then have that in their portfolio as a way of saying, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready for the real world. Here's my experience. Here, here's what I've done. Yeah. 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 Yeah.